In this tutorial, we are going to uh, program NRF 51822 VLA microcontroller. So basically, for this tutorial, you need uh, either a development board for this microcontroller or uh, this kind of beacon. Uh, this beacon uh, is NRF 52832 and having like uh, debug headers uh, on it. So we can use that debug headers to program. And also it has some peripheral interface. They are not given on this board so basically it uh, runs on a battery so if you don't have you can buy this uh, nrf 51822 board from uh, amazon basically it supports 4.0 VL standards so you can either go with this i have uh, soldered this uh, pcb to directly headers so i can get the 2.45 mm headers uh, to connect pins so uh, this board i have soldered here you can uh, see here so you also need this programmer this is a stilling v2 clone you also get this from amazon and uh, one usb to your converter so it can uh, convert that your data to uh, usb virtual com port so let's start uh, set programming this board first uh, here are the some site your early express website you can get that beacons from here so you need a uh, nrf 5182 uh, development environment that uh, we are using nrf 51 SDK and a SOP device. Basically, SOP device is a Bluetooth stack which they have given pre-compile and you get a hex file there. So you have to download this both files and I have extracted here. So you can see that uh, one is uh, SDK. SDK also contains SOP device so you don't need to separately install. So you have to install this uh, ARM packages which required by the keel. So you can install it. The next thing we are going to uh, compile and run example, which is a peripheral example showing the UART uh, capabilities of Bluetooth. So open Kale. Then you have to open the project, navigate to example folder. Here I am going to BLE peripheral, choose soft device 130, open this project. Here uh, select target, you can see that the two projects are available inside this. So you have to select soft device and uh, be careful that this set settings should be as proper as given in the video. So these are the memory region where our soft device is uh, right, uh, going to keep. So you have to select this controller. The next thing setup debugger. Choose the stilling. And inside this you have to uh, set this uh, uh, like this. Setting should be like this. So it should be on the erase full chip. And this programmer you have to select here. After that, you have to flash this soft device. So it is flashing that soft device to the chip. Next thing, we are now going to compile a program. So settings for the program is as per. You have to keep this memory region for, for program. If it is not, make sure that that should be it is now don't we don't need to care about which controller is this so here you have to choose again a stilling and you can also set the breakpoint to the main if you are going to debug uh, here carefully you have to select that sector erase because if you erase all chip your soft device is going to be erased so rest of the setting is as like so here one additional thing you have to add that core underscore cm0 file path so dot h file path 
so if you don't add that path you will get error while the compilation so you have to add that path if you don't find you can search it is uh, it in SDK if you find that file add that path to this include uh, include the list and then save that thing so now we are going to compile this program here uh, you have to change the UART pins that I have used so basically uh, UART is uh, not working on the default pins on this board so make sure that you change that pins here so now open the terminal uh, serial terminal app you get uh, Nordic uh, Bluetooth on it connect to it and we send some uh, commands that we made on the uh, terminal so you can see that uh, command sent from this uh, mobile app we are getting on the UART. So we'll try some send, uh, try sending some string. Uh, be careful that command is should be end with uh, slash r slash n. Uh, so you can only receive that command then. So we are testing some command and string. Yeah, here we get that string on the device. So also we are going to test this thing on the uh, NRF Connect app. So you can see what kind of characteristic it is showing on this. So you get one TX characteristic and one RX characteristic. So we try to send data from here. Here we get this data. And as we enable notification and we are sending data from uh, app. So we get the notify from uh, this uh, UART terminal so this is our main application all the initialization code is here so also you uh, we are not going in a deep so you can just uh, look into the comments and modify these parameters so that you can change that uh, uh, interval and all the stuff of here. This SDK, uh, this SDK config file you can configure other peripherals too. So you have to just uncomment or define that things that will enable the peripherals here.